Good morning, everybody. Welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Behind me, we're going to be going over our 2024 Winnebago Solus. It's a 36, um, geez, 36B, sorry, the new floor plan. I'm really excited to be getting into it with you guys. But just off the initial look, you can tell it just looks like a typical cargo van. So it kind of helps with keeping you a little bit more incognito while you're uh, driving down the road. If you're solo camper by yourself, kind of lets people you know, you can go around in disguise a little bit. Right over here, we have our black, blacked out rims on a 136 inch wheelbase. Our beautiful Winnebago running board right here with a nice little tie down. So if you have a little pet, easy to tie down there, put on a leash and set up camp. And then we have two windows on the passenger side here. And we'll get into the inside once we wrap around. Alrighty, and then now I wanted to open this up. We have the water tanks, which is new for 2024 in this floor plan. Our water tanks are inside as well as our propane tank. Oops, take that door off here. So you just have one big propane tank here. You just unlatch the levers and it folds down so it's easy to put back in and take out and you could take it to a Walmart. I mean, pretty much anywhere to get your propane filled. Put this on really quick. There we go. And then I did want to mention now that they put the propane tank and the water tanks inside, you get a lot more clearance underneath. And then you have your towing hitch here, your seven way connector for a tow vehicle and the braking. I won't show too much of the bathroom, but you have a fully capable rear bathroom with a toilet that has a 5.5 gallon tank in it, which is directly below here. And if you just pull this little latch, it's super easy to take out to give you a little bit more space for the shower. And this will unclip. There we go. Alrighty, well, it's supposed to unclip, but I can't grip it enough to get the clip all the way out. Um, but it does easily come right out. So you can have a little bit more shower space here. And then right over here, we have our shower head. So you can shower outside or you can put it on the roof up there. There's a nice little latch so you can shower inside. You do have a little bar here to connect so you can put an exterior shower curtain out for when you are showering outside or just to give yourself a little bit more if you're a little bit claustrophobic and you want to open up the doors just to make it feel a little bit bigger when you are using the restroom, you can just easily put out this little shower curtain or you can use it for wetsuits to dry or any other towels or anything like that to dry as well. And this bug screen, right now I know it's blocking a lot of our view to kind of see the full restroom, but you can completely take this off. It is just kind of nice where you can kind of zip it up so you don't have to worry about any bugs coming in. But I'll show you all the good stuff in, once we get inside. Right. right over here we have our shower dump drain and then our water pump hot and cold as well and then you have your fresh water fill which is 20 gallons and then you just have your water valve right here for the tank or normal down below here nice little cover to get to the ac to access the rest of your water tank for summarizing or winterizing but this is a four season coach especially now that the water tanks are inside. And let me unlatch this here so we can close it up so we can just get a better glimpse of the inside when it's all closed once we get in there. And then I, you have your nice camera, rear camera. Up on top of the roof, you have 190 watts of solar and then you also have your AC, which is equipped um, which you can power off of your lithium ion battery, which is also inside. Right here is your gray tank dump. Again, your gray tank's gonna be 20 gallons. 
And right here is just your exterior port for your propane tank. You have your 30 amp shore power cord connector here for charging. Your Truma for hot water and it's 2.6 2 gallon of hot water. And right over here, we have our 24 gallon gas fuel tank. They are manual lumbar and retract for your seats. You have your emergency brake here. And let's go ahead and pop that hood so we can take a look underneath. There we go. Alrighty, so this is on a 3.6 liter Ram Pro Master Gas V6, 280 horsepower with 260 foot pounds of torque, and it's a nine speed automatic. Everything's in with hands reach. You have your windshield wiper fluid here, your engine oil fill, and the dipstick. And then we have our coolant and radiator fluid. Super easy there. Now we'll go ahead and take a look inside. Right when we open the door, we have a nice little exterior table here that is on a nice little hinge. So if you aren't exactly level, you can adjust it to your height that you'd like. Right in here, we have our refrigerator with a nice latch for when you're driving down the road. Having the fridge in this location makes it nice where you can easily grab something either inside of the coach or if you're outside. We have a charging right here. We got USB. 12 volt. And then our 120 volt, two right here. These are just our lights. One for the exterior light. and then one for our interior light. I'll go ahead and take a little step inside. Alrighty, up over here. This is our um, X EcoFlow Power Kit Pro Energy System. So it kind of shows you everything that's charging right here. So as I told you before, we have our five kilowatt lithium ion battery which is underneath the seat here and then you can see our solar you can see input and output but this is a nice charging system here and then we have for our water pump and our tanks battery gray and for our gray tank and our battery charge and for our water pump right here is for our truma for our heating and then our hot water we have a nice uh, bug screen here which is on a zipper but once you do zip it up you do have a nice little magnetic strip here so it can easily open and close so you don't have to zip it every time. We got our two propane burner cooktop which duels as extra counter space here. Our stainless steel sink and we have about two extra feet of counter space right here with a nice little window just so it's a nice little prepping space. You can put a little nook here, another cupboard, you can get pretty creative with it. And then we have Tremendous amount of storage. Our Winnebago handy dandy notebook there. And then more storage directly across from us. And lastly is for storage, a nice little storage right above your head there. Also with our blackout screens for that front windshield. All of the windows do slide open, making it easy to get some airflow in here. And of course they all do black out with zippers. So if you wanna take a nap in the middle of the day, the day, you can. Right now this is configured to our two person dining area. And it's super easy to kind of convert into a four person. 
So you're just gonna go ahead and extend that, which there is a nice little latch so you don't have to worry about it flying open when you're going down the road. <clears throat> Pull that out, whoops, there we go. And then this side. There is two more seat belts over here as well. So you kind of got to fidget with those. Perfect. And then you fold out the table. So you can have a four seating eating area here. And now I will go ahead and just convert it into the bed. <clears throat> Slide this open. So if you just want one bed, We'll just convert it back here, slide it down, get the cushions out of the way. You have a nice little latch down here to unlatch it. And then you just push down. It's a little harder to push down, not gonna lie. So you gotta kinda put your body weight into it. There we go. Whoops. It's a lot easier to put it back up because it kind of helps you. It doesn't really help you to go down. Um, but then you just put these cushions. I sure got the cushions right here. All right. So you have a nice six foot rest area for one person or you can create it into two by doing what we did with the four seater booth. Folding it. You want to use the table as well. Fold that down. Cushions. And then this side, we're gonna slide out as well. Perfect. There we go, whoops. Okay, and then you just fold this piece down to easily, sorry, I can't get that side unless you wanna literally see me crawl on top of it to kind of push that, <laughs> that cushion down. But as you could see, it's nice and comfortable. I would say a little bit longer than a full, but two adults can comfortably sleep right here. Put it back up. back up and as you can see the two seat belts right here you can safely seat up to four people inside of this coach van um, by putting cushion cushions back over there as well and then you have the little buckles right here <clears throat> but it's kind of nice and then I'll put this back up here. You can just use it as a couch too, and then put this up too, to kind of make it an L-shaped couch when you put this back down as well. But I mean, there's about seven different configurations that you can do here. As you could tell, <laughs> you gotta put a little bit of work into it to kind of configure it all. But for it being a seven, uh, 17 foot long van, I mean, you definitely have a lot of flexibility to do whatever you want and to also entertain if you have any guests. to get the other little latch under here. Put that back down for you. But I would say this is one of the coolest things about um, this new floor plan, as well as having a full-size bathroom. And then here's your little latches here. So when you're driving down the road, you don't really have to worry about it um, sliding out. And then you do have one nice little van uh, fan here. 
just so you can suck out all that hot water. You have a rain sensor on it as well. And then you have your Colvin Mac AC up top here for your heating and cooling. And then another nice little cubby here for books, water bottles, anything that you kind of want bedside. And then you also have the same exact charging, USB, 12 volt and 120. Now let me just go ahead and turn on this light so I can kind of show you to the best of my abilities um, in here for, here it is, for our bathroom. So as you could tell, just standing in the shower, it is winterized, so I don't want to get any winterizer on me, I'm not going to lie, but you can hook it on right here. So, I mean, I'm 5'7", actually probably 5'8", but I always stick with 5'7". So we'll just actually say for purposes of you watching this video, I'm 5'8". Um, so I still have a little bit of headroom here. It is pretty comfortable. I mean, you got to do the 360 circle to kind of get, like you know, maneuver in here. But you do have a nice little shower curtain here. So if you do have guests and you want to rinse off really quick, you do have some privacy. And then you also have some clips up here to actually put a nice little shower curtain on so you don't have to worry about messing up your mirror, getting water all over your counter space or your sink. Just to kind of limit getting that water everywhere, especially if you're using it for some storage. Like up here, if you want to keep your curling irons or blow dryers or anything like that, you definitely don't want them to get wet while you're taking a shower. Um, but you do have the charging capabilities of plugging those in inside here. Nice little mirror to get ready. Cute little medicine cabinet. You do have a handlebar here to get inside or out just to kind of brace yourself. And then you have another little nice little hanging rack here if you'd like, or you could take this off and take the shelf out, vice versa. But you do have some charging options inside of there as well. And you have some cubbies that are nice and carpeted, and then one more cubby down below here. And then right here, it's just a nice little hiding spot for some more storage. So Winnebago definitely went above and beyond kind of thinking out of the box to kind of get as much storage as you can inside of a 17 foot coach, as well as having a full rain bathroom. So I think it's pretty awesome. On top of that, of having seven different configurations for your booth dinette, and also being able to sleep two adults not as comfortably for two adults, but I mean, it's still pretty realistic. You get to sleep inside instead of sleeping in a tent. So I love that. And now we'll just jump up front here to kind of go over the chassis and I'll fire it up. So not much has changed as far as the steering wheel. You still have the um, option to answer your phone, to call somebody, just um, voice activated and then your cruise control settings it is a push start and then you have all your levers here touch screen radio system for your media you can connect your phone so you have Bluetooth capabilities you can go over your trip and other controls and then all of your settings and then you could set up some favorites categories and go through some tutorials. Back to the home page here. Kind of gives you just a brief overview of everything. And then you have your volume, mute, tuning for your radio, your heating and cooling, emergency lights. And then you have a nice little place here to set your phone. Plenty of cup holders below, as well as having one on either side inside of the door. And then you have more storage right up here. And you have some storage up here as well from some snacks or something. No cup holders, but you do have an option to throw some, some goodies up there if you'd like. And then lastly, you have your SOS and then your assist with some more lights as well. No mirrors inside of here, but nice little um, blocker for that sunlight. Again, if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, I know this is a new product, so we're all pretty excited about it to have one here on our lot. So if you'd like to come in, check it out for yourself and kind of test drive it, give me a call. My name and number is down below, 970-388-7937. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. Have a great day.